Hi guys, Dane here and welcome to another weekly reading vlog. It is currently 10 past 6 on Sunday the 7th of May 2023. I'm currently just at the end of Dolphin Island by Arthur C. Clarke, which has been very good. Probably a 4 out of 5 would recommend. Not one of Clarke's better known books, but it is very good. Up next, I think I'm going to read Prophecy by Peter James. And that's as far ahead as I've thought. Um, Shay is currently asleep at the moment, but when she wakes up, I'm going to do a barbecue. And that is about, that is about all i got for you, so I will update you tomorrow, hopefully. Bank holiday, but I still have to work. Dane reads. It is um, Monday, the 8th of uh, May. I'm currently reading, um, what am I reading? Possession. Prophecy by Peter James, which is just okay. Uh, kind of generic thrillery stuff. Somebody had a red hot poker jammed up their arse earlier, so that was quite good. Um, we are just chilling. Shay's got a face mask on and she's looking beautiful, like leather face. I'm going to go make some food in a minute. And, yeah. Anything that you would like to add, Shay Shay? Can't really talk. She can't really talk. We had a barbecue yesterday, it was nice. Alright. Yo, hello everybody. It is currently 20 to 11 on sun Sunday? No, Monday the 15th of May 2023. And uh, yeah. Uh, just getting some work done now, last minute stuff, because Shay and I are going to Brighton tomorrow, so we are leaving Brighton early. Very clever pun there. Tomorrow morning, coming back on Wednesday evening, I will take my camera along and hopefully take some nice photos of the beach and stuff. Um, so that's very exciting. Uh, but yeah, it just means I'm like working like mad now, trying to get everything done in the house before we leave. I think it's mostly there. Um, I need to make some sandwiches and stuff because they haven't eaten. Um, but I've done most of the housework now. And then the cleaners coming on Thursday as well. Had a Q&A earlier today. It went all right. Um, I have been reading, so I read uh, Glide Pass by Arthur C. Clarke, which was a 3.5 out of 5. It's basically about like the development of radar during the Second World War. Um, and was pretty well done, pretty interesting. I did put in my review that I thought it was more interesting, like I was more interested in what was going on in the background of the war rather than what was actually happening in the novel, which kind of works against it, I suppose. But yeah, it was pretty cool, and it was interesting to see a sci-fi author take on historical fiction, even though it was like historical fiction from certainly within his lifetime. I mean, he himself um, had some, did some work on the development of radar. Uh, then I read *The Purple Prince of Oz* by El, uh, sorry, by Ruth Plumley Thompson, based on the Oz books by L. Frank Baum. That was another 3.5 out of 5. Um, there's not too much to say about the Oz books by this point. Like I've tabbed stuff out, but really all that I've tabbed out are like the little puns that made me chuckle. Um, so there will be a review, but it's going to be a super short and sweet one. But I did enjoy it. I enjoyed it enough that I will be reading, you know, reading the next book. I think I have 26 and there's about 48, I think. So I'm over halfway through, I think, the whole series. Um, so that's where I'm at. I'm just quickly doing some filming bits now. And um, yes, hopefully be in, in bed by midnight. Maybe watch an episode of Waterloo Road if, if Shay is still awake. Because we've been watching that together and it's very good. And yeah, I'm going to keep this vlog rolling for another week, so... Keep your eyes peeled and tomorrow we're going to Brighton. Yeah. Oh, it is a blurry boy. Hello. It is currently 20 to 8 in the morning of Tuesday the 16th of May. Um, Shay and I are leaving for Brighton soon. We've got to leave in like an hour and 45 minutes, Shay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, we've just had some toast on salt and pepper bread from Morrison's. You've got to get that in your life if you haven't already. And I've made us some sandwiches. And we've got some sweets to take, and I've got Biggie some tuna as well, so hopefully he won't feel as though we've abandoned him. Or if he does feel as though we've abandoned him, we've abandoned him, but we've left him with tuna. Um, I finished reading The Purple Prince of Oz. I was a 3.5 out of 5. I'm now reading Tales from the White Heart by Arthur C. Clarke, which is shaping up to be a 4 out of 5. I kind of wish I'd tabbed it out, to be honest. But it's a short story collection. I'm now on my third. Uh, it reminds me of uh, Roald Dahl and his um, Uncle Oswald stories. They're kind of, what was I saying? Oh yeah, it's good, it's really good. Interconnected short stories, that is what we like to see. And Biggie has just tried to kill Shay. But he, yeah, well he probably deserves it, doesn't he? No. No? Yeah, I was thinking that. It's also making me want to wee. Shay says this is S for shut the fuck up, but I think it's S for Shay. <laughs> and it's actually S for soy. Yeah, it is. Because I'm a soy boy. Blip, 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 blip. How is it? So good. You didn't focus because you were moving at all. 
Oh, okay. I won't give you any professionalness. So. Well, we want to show off how good it is, don't we? Ah, lovely. I like how the books are um, hot. Yeah. I sort of feel warmer through my clothes than if I just touch them with my hands. We can play some Walking Dead and, and Shay just met Hello Kitty. I did, she was very nice. She was very nice, she was very friendly. I mean, she didn't really talk much. No. Hello Kitty. Uh, you look very dark, it's too dark in here to see. We're going to play Time Crisis. Blue waters. That's where we were sitting over there. Actually, we were on the other side of that wall, I think. Is it cast iron? Yeah, I think so. Got holes in it. Someone's tried to. Giant Homer's tried to eat it. Mm. Woo. So the oldest pub in Brighton, and then the green room, and it's family-run pub company. So good. Are you excited about your, what is it, a banoffee? Banoffee pie with biscuit stuff. Mm. <laughs> and I have a metal straw, see mm. the turtles, guys. It's very bright. And, and I have a SpongeBob on my hand. Hello. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> hey, guys. Um, about to get some chips. Yeah. yeah. Look at, check out Shay's cute outfit. Fit check. Very cute. How does it work? <laughs> Where are you looking? Oh, oh yeah, back. yeah, yeah. Shay's gone over here to see the uh, fountain. Mm. You, do you want, what? You're my little loaf. Am I? Well, where do you want to start? Do you want to look in the little loaf? Why don't we look in every single one? Well, we can't look in every one. Why not? We can look at like most of them. So, can I get you on camera? I don't know. I might not look good. You do look very good. You uh, think I look good. We are at the indoor market. I'm totally at the flying saucer. Yeah. With an H missing. Yeah, and we've got. Oh, yeah. yeah. We've got a loaded hot chocolate and a Biscoff cake and a coffee for me. <laughs> Bless you. The thing that made it better, the, the table's the same colour as the wood on the, the Yeah. Are you recording? Tiny bit just in the water, you can't see it, and then you swim over it and then you know, get caught. Or yeah, get stuck. You kill yourself. So. Oh, shit, my leg. <laughs> Big boat, we're at the fishing museum. Let me show Shay. Life hangs like a single thread as soon as cut then we are dead. And boast not reader of thy might, alive at noon but dead at night. Well, that boat. Yeah, that one made. Can't too big, though. What the boat? Mm. Hi. I look cute. You, I'm on. you are like an old white man. <laughs> oh yeah. I'm saying to Tracy, I'm going to spy to you. Yeah. What did you do? It's a steery thing. Yeah. I'm going to go this way. Iceberg ahead, Captain. Iceberg ahead. Or. Oh, here we go. It's about the West Pier. Ah. She said yeah. Oh, it's a. Uh... Water polo ball? I 
Because they said they were fighting. Yeah. To get restored, maybe someone didn't like that for some reason. What you got there, Shay Shay? Baram Dakis. They are both for me because they are that good. Yeah. Yum, 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 yum. Yum, 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 yum. Gonna feed the vibes. <laughs> yeah. Hello and yo, it is uh, currently 10 to 9 on the evening of Thursday the 18th of May 2023. Um, Brighton was good, so you've seen a few video clips and stuff. I will link below because I keep like a journal when I go away. So I'll link you to that rather than chat about what we did. Uh, we didn't see um, Shay's friend in the end because various reasons. Um, but we did a lot of exploring, spent a bit of time on the beach, went for some cocktails even though I don't drink. Uh, charity shops, indoor market, all of that stuff, very good. Um, then we got back pretty late yesterday, so we've been shattered all day, really. Um, I was supposed to have a Q&A with uh, my client earlier, but that didn't happen for whatever reason. Um, well, I know the reason, it's just somebody fucked up the Zoom link, basically. Um, but that's fine, because it means less work for me, and I'm super exhausted. Shay's downstairs currently doing Pilates, because um, she's she has like phases, so her current phase is Pink Pilates Princess, with a dash of Hello Kitty. So she's downstairs doing some Pilates, and then we're gonna have a shower, I'm gonna give her a massage, um, and we're probably gonna do face masks, so that'll be nice. Um, and yeah, then we're gonna watch some Waterloo Road, so it's gonna be a chill evening, hopefully. So I'm just finishing up here, finishing some work, some editing, all of that stuff. I finished reading um, The White Heart by um, Arthur C. Clarke. That was a strong four out of five, probably one of my books of the quarter. Uh, it's basically short stories all about a place, and in particular, like one of the drunks or one of the regulars at this bar, he tells all these really interesting stories. Um, so yeah, I did very much enjoy that. And I'm now currently reading issue 65, I think it is, of a magazine. I've forgotten what the fucking thing's called, but it's through there and I'm reading that at the moment. Um, so that's where I'm at and that's what I'm doing. And uh, yeah, oh, and Biggie's behind me as you can see. Oh, and the cleaner came earlier as well. Hello, it's me and I look very cute because Shay has done my hair. Although it's coming out here, it needs redoing. Uh, it is currently 5 to 11 on Friday the 19th of May. Uh, more of the usual, um, cracking on with my to-do list, all of that stuff. Had a few calls earlier and uh, going to go cuddle Shay in bed in a bit and we're going to watch some more Waterloo Road, so very excited about that. We ate some apple pie, that was good, stir fry, smashed it, smashed it out of the park, mate. Uh, I'm currently, oh, I finished reading um, issue 65 or whatever it was of whatever that magazine was called. 3.5 out of 5. My favourite thing actually was... Um, a short story that was, it, it's hard to explain, but it was written as though it was written by snakes as a scientific report. That's the best I can tell you about it. Uh, there's some really good poetry in there as well. I've just started reading Islands in the Sky by Arthur C. Clarke, which is pretty good so far. Basically, a guy goes on like a game show and um, wins a, a free trip into space. Um, so that's kind of cool. Well, into like space station. So it considers to be quite a prophetic novel. Uh, it does say it will be out of date by 1990 in the introduction, which was written by Patrick Moore. And um, obviously at the moment, we're not just going on space stations for holidays, but yes, that's cool. Uh, and I've been flicking through Nosh Vegan by Joy May as well and finding some desserts to make. Well, it's a, a vegan cookbook, but it's only desserts that I actually want to make. And I've only got three of them, I think. Um, but yes, that's probably like 3.5 out of 5. It does have some good recipes. It's just all the good recipes or of stuff that I already have good recipes of so I don't need to use use her version of it you know so yes hello everybody it is currently uh, quarter to ten on Saturday the 20th of May just chilling just being productive Shay's got work at the art center this evening so I've been working on my own stuff uh, actually pretty much there with all of that just got a, an article sent over which is good I do have some other shit to uh, to be getting on with in a minute so I'm gonna be moving on to that um, I'm still reading Islands in the Sky by Arthur C. Clarke it's still very good it might even be a four out of five um, we will see we'll see we'll see how we get on a weird noise just happened uh, I made tofu scramble earlier been doing a bit of jogging and stuff that's really all I got for you I don't have much I'm just gonna go and film a quick hauly haul now um, but I'm pretty much on top of all of my, my my stuff so that's very good very exciting hello it's me it is currently about half past four on Monday the 22nd of May um, I finished reading the Arthur C Clarke book that I was reading which was very good that was a four out of five I uh, then read this bad boy, so this is You Are Here Around the World in 92 Minutes by Chris Hadfield, the astronaut. It's basically a bunch of awesome photos of the Earth with little descriptions of what's going on in them. Probably a strong 3.5 out of 5. What I liked about it, it was, was it was super quick and easy to get through, so I, I read it like on the day that I opened it. But yes, pretty cool. Um, and I am now 
Oops. I don't even know where it's gone, the thing I'm reading. But I'm reading... I think I left it in the bedroom with, with, with Shay. Um, but yes, I'm reading another Arthur C. Clarke book. That book's just sliding everywhere because my desk is wonky. Um, Shay's been doing some clay, I will show you. She's making some Love Hearts coasters. So, um, that is the clay table. So she'll kind of sit in here and do some clay and whatnot. We did some, uh, she did some in the garden yesterday, which was nice, got some sunlight. Uh, I have the Q&A for my client, uh, KX10, in half an hour or so, so I'm gonna do that soon. Other than that, I'm just cracking on with a bit of productivity. It is currently uh, just coming up to 20 past eight on Tuesday the 23rd of May. Shay has been doing some arting. Can I show your works in progress, Shay? Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> yes, obviously. Uh, it's very hot today, so she doesn't want her outfit on display. That looks really fucking cool on this. Does it? Yeah. Does it? it picks up the colours more. Oh, cute. Yeah. The top two aren't done yet. Yeah, the top two aren't done yet. Well, I mean, they're all a work in pro progress because uh, afterwards, Shay's going to um, do some like highlights on the actual heart bits and then write little messages inside and they're going to be turned into little love heart coasters. As usual, I will link below to Clay by Shay. On uh, so yeah, I will, my battery just died. I will link to Clay by Shay on Instagram on, 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 and on Etsy. Uh, even if you're, you're not going to buy anything, please do go over to Etsy. Uh, favourite the store, favourite some of the listings. It all helps to get the word out and do give her a follow on Instagram. She's just, she's just starting up, but um, it's looking good, your, your little setup you got so far, isn't it, Shay? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, we actually, she actually had an offer while we were in Brighton to, um, to display some of her works in a little... A uh, little sort of shop thing down there as well, which gives us a good reason to go back to Brighton as well um, But yes, just being productive. I've had one client call I had an interview that was meant to happen earlier that didn't so I went back to sleep We went into town to get more art supplies and uh, Yeah, I've got a call at half nine probably gonna have either burgers or stir-fry in a bit We were gonna have both but I guess now we're just gonna have one or the other <laughs> Um, and I'm currently, I'm just right at the end of Reach for Tomorrow by Arthur C. Clarke, which has been okay. It's been like a 3.5 out of 5. Um, not too much to say really, just a short story collection, fairly generic shit really. And uh, next up I'm going to finally pick up Half Human Heroes by Jeremy Fee. You may have noticed, because I have so many Arthur C. Clarke books to get through at the moment, I'm alternating, so I'm doing an Arthur C. Clarke, somebody else, Arthur C. Clarke, somebody else, etc, etc. So that is where we are at. I see you. I see you there watching my YouTube channel. Yeah, you. I see you. That's so creepy. Hello, everybody. It is currently quarter past seven on uh, Wednesday, the 24th of May. Shay is being productive again. Can I show your latest progress? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Shay by Clay by Shay. Link to you below. Check it out, otherwise, I'll chase you. Alright. So, the love hearts. Does this one too? Yeah, this one too. They're all coming along. And uh, they're going to be coasters, and I'm going to have one of my own, so I'm going to show that off to you guys. Um, I finished reading that Arthur C. Clarke book that I was reading. That was like a 3.5 out of 5, I guess. And I'm now reading Half Human Heroes, edited by Jeremy Fee. On course for a strong 4 out of 5. I am a little bit biased because I have a story in there. But I was saying to Shay that uh, all of the stories are really good and all of the same sort of high quality to the point at which I think mine is possibly one of the weakest, um, which is always good. She's shaking her head at me. Um, but yes, very good. And then after that, I'm probably going to read The Deep Range by Arthur C. Clarke. Uh, we went to Morrison's earlier. We're going to make sandwiches in a little bit. And yum, yum. Yeah, yum, yum. And probably play some board games as well. Um, so we're going to play uh, Operation, I think, was one. And Bookaroo was the other. And I've never played either of those. Um, and then we have... We also have an escape room we might try. We'll, we'll see. All right. Hello. It is... Um, Quarter past six on Thursday the 25th of May. Uh, mental health isn't great at the moment. I'm kind of struggling with things. Uh, and that's not good because I have a call to do in 45 minutes. I'm kind of hoping nobody shows up to it. Because otherwise I'm going to have to pretend to be my usual happy and cheerful self. Which I can kind of do. It's just very draining. And then I have lots of other work I need to be getting on with as well. Uh, Shay's back at her. She's currently making recipes from Sims 4. What is she saying she's making? She's making... Uh, goopy carbonara and plum bog, sh plum bob sugar cookies. Um, so she's gonna go and make that. 
I've got this call. I finished reading um, Half Human Heroes, solid four out of five, would recommend, happy days. Um, and I'm now reading The Deep Range by Arthur C. Clarke, which is like a 3.5 out of five. It's interesting though, because it's got some of these themes that is tackled before of like, I don't know, ocean conservation and overfishing and all of that stuff. Um, oh, I also filled out all the forms I need to send off to start purchasing the land for this place. Got lots of housework to do. It is what it is. I'd better go and crack on with it all, but um, that's where it's at. And then this weekend we have Frog Fest in Wickham, which is like music festival. Some of my friends' bands will be playing there, so I'm going to go check that out. Hello everybody, it is currently quarter past seven on Friday the 26th of May. I'm not feeling particularly good, but I'm going to crack on and try and get some work done. I'm going to hopefully make some cookies and stuff in a bit. Um, I've done a decent amount of filming and editing and all of that stuff already, so I'm just going to keep that going. Probably till about midnight and then I'll get into bed and do some uh, timed work. And uh, yeah, yesterday I watched Missing Dead or Alive, which was quite good. I also finished watching The Great Brazilian Bank Heist or whatever it was called. And I feel like I watched something else as well, but maybe I'm just going mad. Uh, I'm still reading The Deep Range by Arthur C. Clarke. Up next, I'm probably going to read Ojo in Oz by Ruth Plumley Thompson, which is the next Wizard of Oz book, because that has arrived. So that's very exciting. And uh, yeah, other than that, just keeping on, keeping on, baby. Everybody. You may notice a slight change in camera quality. I dropped my phone at Frogfest. Not my phone, I dropped my camera, didn't I, Shay? I dropped my camera at Frogfest. And now it kind of comes on a little bit. It does that, but this thing on the back doesn't work. Um, the SD card is fine, but the camera is fucked and that won't close as well. So I don't know what I'm gonna do. I guess get a new one, even though they're like 300 quid. Might see if it's covered by my insurance. I should probably remember to do that. So yes, for the foreseeable future, until I get my next camera, I'm going to be shooting on my phone and sending it via Shay on WhatsApp. Thank you, Shay. Oh, she gave me a little, ah, oh, kawaii. Um, but yeah, Frogfest was good, wasn't it? We're, we're very, we're very tired today. My feet hurt. Yeah, my feet hurt, my legs hurt. Everything hurts, basically. 
Um, but we were there from like noon till nine-ish. You came about an hour later, didn't you? Um, saw lots of live music. We had lots of uh, delicious coffee with Biscoff spread in it. You haven't burned on your arms, you can see it. Yeah, I'm burnt, some burnt on my arms and on my face. Uh, and Shay's some burnt on the top of her head. And my shoulders. And your shoulders, yeah. Um, but it was really good. I mean, we had a good time. Saw lots of lots of bands, like I say. Um, there's footage of that coming. I just can't get it off my SD card at the moment because I don't have anything that can read an SD card. Uh, in terms of currently reading, I'm still reading Ojo in Oz by Ruth Plummy Thompson. Still probably going to be a 3.5 out of 5. And I think that's a good time, good place to leave this week's reading vlog. So as always, thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to let me know in the comments what books you're reading or which of these ones you've read or whatever it is that I normally say. Hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video. Hit that subscribe button for more and I'll see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot. Bye bye.